in this video we shall be discussing how to draw the supporting resistance lines and we shall be discussing about three strategies on how to use them right now we are using ethereum and uh, the third usd uh, chart and uh, this is a cryptocurrency pair obviously and uh, this this is one hour time frame and we are using the binance exchange and this is trading view charting platform which is basically with every brokers so what you need to do you need to open the chart and find the highest price level and make a horizontal line there and if you are using the trading view make sure that you do a shift button press when you draw that otherwise it will not draw a proper horizontal line okay now after you have done that uh, you can argue that uh, why you are starting like that we can also zoom out yeah let's zoom out let's take more candles in that case it will be starting from here okay so it doesn't matter so as you can see this is the first resistance the high point of the entire chart is the first resistance point and the resistance and support levels will uh, change as you change the time frame as you take more candles so right now we are considering only this amount of candles of whatever we are seeing right now okay okay now let's see hmm. now let's draw another line and uh, let's move up to the next resistance where the price is trying to go up and it is resisting like that and it should be horizontal line now see this lines this is actually you can say the lower highs of resistance yeah it actually get created like that so if you know the trend analysis and the concept of trend analysis you can see the resistance itself is getting a lower high right so this is going like that so it doesn't matter we need to take the highest one now what is the most significant one so these are not the significant you can see this is consolidating here it doesn't make any sense to do anything here or uh, like the highest of the range is this there is no significant high in the between there is no significant point in the between where it is reverting all these levels have same priority okay in terms of resistance okay the next thing which is more important is this area see this is trying to go up and it is resisting so right now in this area you need to see the highest point of this area which is this candle so let's do that and let's let's just extend it to the yeah all done sorry i don't know what that came okay now let's draw one more line what is the next significant area there is any significant area in this point or uh, like if you argue that okay let me just load the line shorter the line shorten the line okay if you argue that this is a significant point then let's draw it like that you can see okay this is a significant point but at this point this candle's body is formed above this point line sorry so in this case this line is getting invalidated okay so this resistance is not a very strong resistance okay so we can call it as a weak resistance and we do not need to see this resistance in a lower time frame which is one hour time frame is considered as a lower time frame in crypto because it moves very fast and is very volatile now let's move to the next part which is support so to find a support we need to do the same thing which we just did for the finding resistance that is draw a line to the lowest point of this chart which you are seeing here which is this point so this is the first support which is very easy and what about the next one so in the next one we are drawing another line horizontal just above this one and we need to keep moving this line until we find a point which is significantly showing that this support is some important line so we can consider this part right so if you see this low of this candle is you can see at this area the low of this candle is 153.91 and the low of this candle is 153.93 so that is a basically difference of 0 0.03 which it doesn't even count okay so this thing this line is obviously as is obviously can be considered as a good support point a support line for this area and uh, 
as we have discussed about this point this area we can also talk about this area that this area is actually consolidating so in this case you cannot just draw you can just see some correlations like see this candle this candle and this candle is making a good resistance like we have discussed it there and uh, similarly we can just tell that this area this area and this area is making some mini support kind of stuff but that doesn't make any sense it is also weak support or whatever we just need to discard this kind of lines so this is how you can just draw the resistances and the supports now this resistance is called the resistance 2 this resistance is called the resistance 1 this one is called as support 1 and this is called support 2 so it goes like this and there is no rule that it has to be equidistant or something like that it depends on the candle and we just showed you that how to draw that so let's say this is the current price which is cmp so the next support to this one is called the s1 so this is the term of price action many traders use the same thing and in price action we are calculating the resistance and supports using the theories of price action which is using only the candles and there are many other theories which are using using to calculate the support and resistance in many different ways But when they label the support and resistances as per the theory, they also always label in the same nomenclature we are just showing you here. Okay. So the R1, R2, S1, S2, it goes like this. And it, it can also go beyond that R3, dot, 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 Rn, and S3, dot, 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 Sn. Okay. So that's it. In the next video, we shall be discussing about more on the strategies of how to use this kind of lines.